of the Kim's systems, the, the, the technology bit of... Because let's just say Chiloba has gone. And if we are just going to go into an election without having a proper audit, are we not likely to run into the same problems? I remember one of the lawyers in court said that it is practically impossible to do another election without such errors. So is, is there a need to do an entire systems audit? Definitely. One of the things that we must insist on is that before the 26th of October, we must look at the systems and be sure that they are robust. We must look at the systems that ensure that the ICT regulations mm -hmm. uh, that uh, are attached to the uh, Elections Act, the systems at IBC are confidential, they've got integrity, they've got availability, which is usually called the, the trinity of, uh, of, of, of robust systems. Mm -hmm. That must be looked into. Mm -hmm. We must also be very sure that the d churches of this world are not going to get a backdoor to get into the system and uh, commit uh, treasonable acts. But, I mean, we have go, you, you've called out for IBC. I mean, you're not calling out for, for any action to be taken against the church, he's supposed to be a cabinet, uh, a cabinet sector, isn't it? No, no, Former. no, he was, uh, uh, he was dropped uh, over... Disgracefully, uh, over... Issues, yes, issues integrity. So there's that um, history, yes. uh, we, we are assuming that the, the church we are talking about is the same one. I, I, I don't know, uh, be, because there, there could be uh, legal implications. Yes, but, yes, that's what I wanted to, to, but, to clarify. But remember, uh, at the start of this discussion, we said there were two smoking guns that Orengo presented to the court, and IBC and Jubilee were very quick. In fact, they sprang to their feet very quickly when they realized the implication of the additional evidence that Orengo was going to present. I want to ask you as an IT expert, what is the possibility of cloning or building a parallel virtual system like the IBC has? A very easy. And have it interfere with that system? Very, very easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, virtualization is a concept that has been there in technology for a long mm -hmm. time now. Mm -hmm. uh, creating a virtual machine, there are many tools, open source tools and proprietary tools. Mm -hmm. As a tech guy, take me to a, a server room, give me a list of all the servers, and I can be able to create a virtual machine that uh, replicates what those other machines what are doing. What those other machines are Such doing. Such that you can have a situation where you, the Kenyans are voting, but there's a display at BOMAS that is showing data linked to a totally different system. And we um, away think, from the, the Kim's we, devices that, that, that... Yes, we think that this is what happened. That what we were seeing at BOMAS was not mining data from the real database. This was picking data from a separate system that had been infiltrated and had been uh, affected and influenced by... Yeah, but because what Kenyans are asking is, look, assume this is my Kim's device. I have scanned this form 34A and I have sent it. So what's the big deal after that? Yes, it hits the server, lands into a folder, and then someone deletes it and uploads another form. Which, uh, which is coming from this other virtual... Yes. Uh, guys who are sitting in River Road and all sorts of places. Absolutely. Forms, and you know, filling forms there, and there, were two, and there were two specific orders of a court that they vehemently refused to uh, mm -hmm. you know, comply with. Mm -hmm. Number one, there was an order of a court that they supply the petitioner with the GPS data mm -hmm. of all the KMS kits uh, that were used in this particular election. Uh -huh. So that you could be able to say that uh, where, for instance, uh, uh, this KMS kit number, device this and this, was actually used to upload the form from, uh, from this primary. particular I mean, point. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the second one is they refused to allow access to their database so that we could be able to see what Moshimeo is talking about that at uh, uh, a certain point so-and-so logged in using the following credentials and was able to perform the following mm -hmm. functions, whether mm -hmm. it is a deletion or an addition mm -hmm. or a rectification, whatever it is. So in the eye of the defiance of those two court orders, yes. what Moshimeo is talking about is absolutely credible. And that's why we are looking at all these elections to be able to find out uh, what happened. The third order yeah. they defied, uh, I do if you remember, mm. uh, there was a very specific instruction that they must provide access to the transmitted forms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Transmitted mm -hmm. forms. Leave alone the forms that uh, were already in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. The transmitted forms. Yes. To provide evidence that what we're dealing with is what originated, is from, what the originated from the King's devices. They did not do that. Uh, just a quick one. Kelvin Kondienji. Following with keen interest from Windhoek, Namibia, as a pan-Africanism optimist, optimist, <laughs> and he says, "Tibim, 
it's, it's, it's still been thing. It's, it's now, now global. It's, yeah, it's now global. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's 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 in, it's in Widok now. Um, moving forward, how do you secure this? I, I mean, do you need minimum reforms? Say, for example, uh, uh, so that I, if you say they did not comply to give, for example, the GPRS for their devices, moving so forward, how do we mitigate that so that then we are not get? Because I'm looking at a situation where we might go for an election and then get ourselves back to Supreme Court, and then uh, it can be a permanent that's why we cycle. Are saying, that's why we are saying, uh, Baggy, you know, uh, technology. It's, it's hard to fall technology. It is the human element in the interface with technology that yes. we are addressing. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, in the run-up to these elections, there was one side that was committed in ensuring that we actually had a free and fair election. So you saw us going to court to address every sim single concern. Mm -hmm. And we were actually ridiculed because mm -hmm. we were following the law to get proper interpretation. Yeah, there was talk that NASA Absolutely. has been permanently closed. And there, was, know, another side, yeah. there was another side who, which was going around the country saying, they told the Kambas in, in Cumberland, we don't need your votes, we will still win this election. So you could see that there was one uh, divide of a political divide mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was interested in having a, a, a free and fair election. The other ones were not interested. So if we do not sort out the human element, that we get rid of these people who have been uh, enablers uh, of, of the vile characters in our mm -hmm. politics to mm -hmm. hack our systems and mm -hmm. to ensure that they subvert the will of the people, then we are doing nothing. Which is why we are starting with uh, Ezra. Well, uh, Mike is saying, please start doing seven, uh, start doing news at nine and seven. Uh, brown envelope media is hiding a lot <laughs> from Kenya. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there is brown envelope media <laughs> or, or what it, uh, or what it. Uh, or what is referring? Yeah, yeah. Or, or what is uh, mm. referring? Tell him to. not to fear. He can name names. I, I, no, I just guess that perhaps there's information that is coming from this conversation that is not precisely out there. Oh, oh, yeah, very true. There, there's a lot. There's a lot that we've seen in the, the past few weeks. Uh, there's a lot that we've seen that is going wrong in this country. Yeah. There's a lot that Kenyans need to know. Mm -hmm. And Kenyans need to know that in the first round, NASA won the election. Mm -hmm. And people, and I like the way uh, Edu puts it, there are people who have committed treason by trying to change the will of the people using technology and through the back door. And you mm -hmm. ask going mm -hmm. forward, mm -hmm. I think for, for me, our focus should be on turning out the way we turned out and making sure that we vote because the first time we won and the second time we know we can win. In the meantime, as our people rally to go out and vote, mm -hmm. we will be ensuring mm -hmm. that the thugs who are committing treason mm -hmm. are not allowed anywhere close to the electoral process. Mm -hmm. We will ensure that the systems mm -hmm. retain or maintain their confidentiality and integrity mm -hmm. so that we can have an election that re reflects the will of Kenya. If, if the servers were open, Yes. and if you're saying that, that, that uh, Raila Odinga won the election, if that was evident to the Supreme Court, would there have been an option... Of Absolutely, him being declared president. Absolutely. In fact, uh, I saw one of uh, them. I don't know if it is Zohuru or Ruto crying that there was a coup by 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 the uh, the court. Yet the court did not install anyone as president. I mean, how mm -hmm. is there a coup when there's no one who's taken over the reins of power? Mm -hmm. And it is an option actually because if the logs had been opened, it would be, have been easy for us as a uh, the legal team to demonstrate the actual numbers, which mm -hmm. they, they kept seeing about in court, yeah. that we would have uh, transcended the argument from just the process, which we made very strenuously, yes. to now demonstrate how it actually affected numbers by saying, we took figure X from here and mm -hmm. put figure Y. Yeah, yeah. And that we can actually do a retali mm -hmm. using the correct figures and the forms that uh, Moshimu is talking about, the actual forms that were uploaded, and we arrive at a figure and declare Raila Odinga president. Uh, Moshima, what does this ruling mean for the other positions? You know, both of you uh, were supposed to be senators, so to speak. <laughs> yes. You are sworn in, and uh, you are not sworn in. So, I mean, do we look at this process in its entirety as flawed? Were there sections of it that were flawed? We, 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 we should. We should look at the other positions as well. The window for petitions on the other uh, positions yes. is, is open now. Yeah. And I know in the course of this week, and I expect that uh, Edu will also go to court mm -hmm. to challenge the victory of, of, of Jubilee. Because yes. I believe that uh, Jubilee hatched the Farangas in Nairobi uh, through this manipulation. Absolutely. In the Supreme Court, it had jurisdiction on the presidential 
election. Mm -hmm. And the form 34, A, B, and Cs yes. were forms that were used to capture the presidential results. Mm -hmm. We now need to start looking at the form 35s. That the 35s used, are the ones that, that are used senators, for, yeah. for, for the yeah. other positions. Mm -hmm. And these need to be looked at across the board. In places like Nairobi, I believe that there was foul play. What I can tell you, are you going to court? What I can tell you is this. Uh, we have a wonderful team of uh, young people, uh, mm -hmm. the IT experts who are with us at IADC. Yes. Those guys will be celebrated for, for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. We have a team that was led also by Dr. Nyangasi Oduo, young people who looked at every single mm -hmm. of the 40,000 forms mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. enabled us to have this victory. Mm -hmm. And they have also identified for us 70 specific seats Wow. Which is 70. Jubilee, absolutely. Which Jubilee had interest. And unfortunately, one of those was the Senate. Was yes. Okay. So we will meet uh, that Kifaranga in court. Um, Waga Waga is saying, really tell us what happened to our votes in Kajiado County. They changed everything. We in Kajiado want change, but not 54%. Vifaranga. I mean, these words you politicians use. <laughs> <laughs> Catch on. <laughs> Catch on very quickly. Yeah. We are wrapping up. Mwishimiwa um, Moses Kajuan, your final remarks. What Justice Maraga and the Supreme Court has done to Kenya um, is, I mean, it's like a stage of liberation. Mm -hmm. We have been very much obsessed with outcomes in this country. Yes. And uh, I, I mentioned this even yesterday when I was having a debate with Mood Comment, mm. that Kenya is a country where some, someone is suddenly rich and we love him and we appreciate him. We yeah. don't care how he got there. Mm -hmm. And what Maraga has told us through mm -hmm. this ruling, yeah. that whatever it is you turn out to be, you can be, but it must be with fidelity to the constitution yes. and uh, respect the rule of law mm. and the fear of God. Above all. That uh, is yeah. a huge paradigm shift. Yes. And you know, Buggy, if we had leaders who think about those three dimensions, yes. even if you became president of Kenya, I would not be worried. Oh, amen. Absolutely. I mean, that's a, that <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good uh, uh, thought you have of me. Yes. Um, Moshmiwa, as your, as, as your closing remarks uh, yes. come on, um, somebody's asking, lawyers, you, bo both of you are lawyers, where do you draw the line on who to support? I mean, where do you draw the patriotic line and the business line? I, there are particular see, lawyers that su perhaps people didn't expect to, 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 to act or yeah. for or on behalf of IBC or particular clients. Two things. Number one, as a lawyer, you are sworn to hold fidelity to the law so that it doesn't matter who it is, just the way that Mwishimua Kajwanga said. Yes. You stand there to explain what the law as you understand it is. Yes. And you stand in fidelity with the law. Mm -hmm. Number two, as a lawyer, you are not given a choice on who to represent. There's something called the Kabarank rule, that whoever shows up at your door asking for your uh, services, services mm -hmm. you have you know, an obligation to represent them, mm -hmm. but you could excuse yourself on various grounds. I mean, if there's conflict of interest, uh, your moral fiber will not allow you, or the yes. things. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a, a lot of uh, ways in which you can get out of mm -hmm. it. So we don't blame the lawyers mm -hmm. uh, uh, who represented the petition, the, the respondents mm -hmm. in court. What we actually criticize is their arguments in that particular court, because you're supposed to help uh, our democracy to grow and our constitution to grow and mm -hmm. our law to grow. Mm -hmm. My final parting was uh, Bagi. Yeah. We have a responsibility. You see, Justice Maranga has done his job in terms of standing up for the constitution and the right. rule of law in this country. Right. Mm -hmm. We have to return the mm -hmm. favor mm -hmm. by now protecting that constitution mm -hmm. at the ballot mm -hmm. and getting rid of these people who would have us uh, under an, a system of tyranny and fear out of state house mm -hmm. and to banish them completely so that no one who does not have uh, credentials in respect of law should ever ascend to that office in this land. In fact, the Maraga revolution would mm -hmm. be a stillborn mm -hmm. if Jubilee returns. Mm -hmm. to Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very well. I'll just go through two quick comments. Daddy V, Muziki, I'm watching closely from Dallas, Texas. I hope you're safe. I mean, I had the floods over there. Uh, let us not repeat elections with the same IBC. Kindly inform people that IBC is not only Chebukati or Chiloba. There are various other individuals out there. We hear you. Noela Inundele Noela. Each person that was involved in the rigging should be accountable. Very well. Thank you very much for watching. This is Opinion 2017. Be blessed and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Tarajua. I'm a senior. I'm a senior. I'm a senior.